What's up guys, Magic Loader here, back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to dramatically improve your FPS in Valorant. So let's get right into it. First things first, you want to go down to your search bar and type in Game Mode. Now once you type in Game Mode, you'll see Game Mode Settings. You want to click that and you want to turn Game Mode off because this is just going to mess with your FPS. Now also, while you're in this screen, go to the left here onto Captures. Turn background recording to off, recorded audio to off. Also, go to the game bar and turn the record game clips, screenshots, and broadcasts using the game bar. Also, put that to off. This is going to improve in your FPS, and your PC won't be actually using its processing power for these captures and game modes and stuff. Now, next thing we got Discord. Everyone uses Discord. And we all love it, but Discord actually takes some of your frames away if you're not having the right settings. Now once you go to Discord, go to your settings and then go to appearance and scroll down, like scroll down here, and you're gonna see advanced. Now here we have hardware acceleration and you want to turn this setting to off because most people have it on. It says turns on hardware acceleration which uses your GPU to make Discord smoother. Turn this off if you're experiencing FPS drops in games. Now this clearly says that this improves your FPS. So turn this setting to off and let's move on. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go into our search bar again and type in MS config and you're going to see system configuration and you just want to click that and this should open up. Now, once you see this window, go to boot, and then you're going to see Windows 10 or whatever Windows you got, and you're going to see advanced options right here. Now, go to advanced options and check this box, number of processors, and put it to max. This is going to enable Windows to start up with all of your cores on the processor enabled, which is going to boost your FPS in game. Once you've done that, click apply, click OK and the screen should close but you'll you'll get this screen which says you need to restart but we can do this later after you're done with all of these steps because then the restart is going to be actually way more better now the next thing you want to do is go back to your search bar once again and type in power settings and then once you see power and sleep settings click that and this should pop up now on the right here we have related settings and click this blue text that says additional power settings. This is going to open up this menu and then what you want to do is click high performance because it favors performance but may use more energy. This is going to drastically improve your FPS. Just this one setting and this is actually going to work better for laptops but it also works for PCs. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to search this PC. And this is going to show us this app once you open up this app you just right click here on the left on this PC and go to properties once you go to properties go on to the left and go to advanced system settings once that opens up you're gonna see a tab like this and you want to go up here onto advanced and then click these performance settings and if you are running a low PC and if you don't care about how your Windows looks then just click adjust for best performance and all of this is going to be unchecked and you're going to have a slight FPS boost. I personally don't do this because I love how Windows looks and I love the animations that Windows has so I'm just going to keep mine for best appearance. This is not really going to affect your FPS a lot but if you want to do it feel free to do so. Once we're done with that, we're going to press apply ok everywhere, that's it. Right, so next thing, this only affects people with NVIDIA graphics cards, so if you don't have a graphics card, you can skip this part of the video and go at the end where I show the in-game settings for the Valorant best performance. So what you want to do is right click and NVIDIA control panel. Once that opens up, you're going to see a screen like this and you want to go to manage 3D settings of the, on the left if it's not already here. Now what you want to do is go to program settings, wait for this to load up and then make sure Valorant is here like you can just check it if it's not there just click add and then find Valorant and click add it now what we want to do here is we want to you want to copy my settings exactly as they are I'm just gonna quickly go through them so image sharpening its global setting is off so let's just keep it off 
So anisotropic filtering off, anti-aliasing off, anti-aliasing gamma correction off, mode off, setting to none. You just want to keep copying all of these settings. Pretty sure you, these global settings are the same for you. Multi-frame shape sampled AA, you want to put this to on. The OpenGL rendering GPU, you want to choose your main graphics card if you have multiple. I don't know. Then power management mode, prefer maximum performance. This is quite important. Then what we have is shader cache, also global settings. Texture filtering, anti-astropic sample option, I have this one on. Negative LOD bias, allow. Texture filtering quality, high performance. Texture filtering, trilinear optimization on. Threaded optimization on, triple buffering off, vertical sync off, and virtual reality pre-rendered frames to one. This is going to improve your FPS, especially in Valorant, not in other games, because we are having these settings only for Valorant right now. Now once you're done with this, you can actually close this and you can actually open up your NVIDIA GeForce experience. Let me just open that up. So you want to open it up, like you want to search it, NVIDIA GeForce experience, you want to click it, already did. And this window should pop up. Now you want to go up to drivers over here and you want to download the latest drivers. Because as you can see, there's a Valorant picture, they made special drivers just for Valorant to improve your FPS as best as possible. So you want to download the latest drivers, this is going to improve your FPS a lot, because the drivers are just optimizing the game as best as possible. Alright, we have a couple of more things to do. First things first, look at your Valorant icon, right click it, go to properties, and then go to compatibility. Now once you are at this tab, you want to click Disable Full Screen Optimization, this needs to be checked, then click Apply and OK. This is going to completely disable the full screen optimizations, which is going to improve your FPS. Now second thing, you want to download the folder that I have put in the description, and you want to open it up, you're going to see three options, which is our Above Normal Priority, our High Priority, and our Normal Priority. These things are actually registry files and they'll change your priority of the game. So the game always launches in high or above normal priority, which is going to optimize the game better and make sure that your PC processes it more. So if this is a different screen for you, like if, if you can click this and it doesn't open up in notepad like it does for me, then just click it and press run and it's automatically going to set it to high priority. If you ever want to change this back, just click it back to normal priority. Now, if you have the same problem as me, and this is a text document for you, and it opens up in Notepad, what you want to do is go search up Registry Editor, and click it right here. And once Registry Editor pops up, you want to go File and Import, bam, just like that. And then you want to find the Valor Priority, and go to All Files, and here you can find them, and then just press Valor and High Priority, and click Open. As you can see, has been successfully added to the registry, and now you can press OK and close this off. Now I will see you in a bit with the in-game settings for best performance. Now that we are here and you open the Valorant, you want to go to the left and go to settings. Now you want to go to video settings because that's what we're focusing on right now for your FPS. First things first, resolution, you want to check that you are running your best resolution with your heart hertz or refresh rate which is mine is 1920 by 1080 69 144 hertz i know i can do 3840 by 2160 but i don't want to do this because this is actually going to affect my fps a lot you want to make sure that it's 1920 by 1080 or whatever else you have you can also put this lower to like 1600 by 900 and this is going to improve your fps a lot but if you're having steady frames Already, I do not recommend doing this, because your picture is just going to look way uglier. Now, display mode, you want to have this to full screen. I have it to windowed full screen because I stream a lot, and that means I need to see my both screens, but you want to have this to full screen. You want to choose your main monitor to be your 
game screen actually and not your other monitor because I have two as you can see then aspect ratio method letterbox and we have a couple of settings in here so limit FPS and menus I have it to 144 because that's my refresh rate I don't actually see the point of having high frames in a menu which is not even animated that much and what you want to do is limit FPS always put this off you do not need this you want to have the most frames that you can get then what you want to do is move on to graphics quality and here we have multi-thread rendering this is a new option enables multi-thread rendering for better performance on powerful machines provides largest benefit with a fast GPU and extra CPU cores now I have this on on because I have a good PC and if you also have a good PC you want to keep this on because this is actually going to help you a lot now on the settings I have everything out of the graphics to medium because uh, high is actually going to take up a lot of your FPS medium is almost the same as low but it doesn't take that much FPS so medium is probably the best if you're still having problems switch it back to low then we have vignette on Vysync put it to off anti-aliasing you want to put this to MSA two times instead of four times and the astropic filtering from 8 or 16 put it to two times that is actually enough and you won't even see the difference then we have improved clarity this has to be to on because this is going to actually improve the things you see uh, bloom I have it to off distortion I have it to off and first person shadows I personally have it to on you can put this to off but this just makes the skins in your hand look way better so I just have the setting to on just so I can see my skins better for stats, this is personal preference, honestly, I just use my client FPS in that real round trip time, this doesn't affect your FPS at all. And that was it. Make sure to copy these and I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if your FPS got any better. Leave a comment down below on how much did it actually change for you. I am really happy to read all of the comments and I usually read all of my comments from my YouTube videos. And Make sure to subscribe because like 80% of the people that are watching this channel are not subscribed and I really hope that you will. So I'll see you next time. Peace.